Welcome back to my channel and today it's gonna be an interesting video and I'm gonna be showing you guys what is on my phone but yeah we're gonna see how this goes um, yeah this is my wallpaper from whenever I went to uh, Los Angeles to take a picture yeah let's go ahead and dive on in I'm very OCD with the way that my phone is like set up so like I spent like two hours going through my entire phone deleting old apps that I didn't need and you know keeping the apps I did want that were like a necessity so what I did was I like have my home screen I have my um, all my social media on one screen stuff like that and then I have another screen for like if I'm ever traveling and then I have just you know all the etc you know other types of apps and stuff like that on one screen so yeah a total of four screens nothing crazy First off, the home screen, whenever I first come into my phone, these are like the main apps that I always need to use. Like, I have my maps and stuff like that. I have everything like saved so like I, if I have to go to a certain spot, I can easily click on it and it takes me straight there. You know, all my alarms set. I can quickly go in and like, you know, change whenever, you know, I'm gonna wake up and stuff like that. So if I have work, you know, 10.30, I might wake up and, you know, literally probably 15 minutes before I have to go to work because it just be like that sometimes. I like to get a full eight hours of sleep, so tonight I'm probably going to bed at one o'clock, maybe. My calendar, I like to be very precise with what I'm gonna be doing, so I like to go through and um, you know, add in all of my events and stuff like that. And then, you know, to keep it all organized and stuff like that. And then I have my two app for my two jobs, so but People Matter is for the restaurant that I work at, and then Starbucks, Teamworks, obviously, is where I check my schedule for Starbucks. Um, and then here is a cool app that I think a lot of people should actually try out. It's called Hours Tracker. So yeah, that app basically just lets you know um, how much you can be probably making on a certain paycheck, um, and it takes away the taxes. And then GroupMe is just, you know, a thing that we use with Starbucks to really communicate and stuff like that. And then I just have, you know, my banking information right there, all my mail, Sometimes that shit gets all the way up to like 200 at one point. Uh, it gets pretty crazy. Sometimes it can go all up to like 10,000. That's if I'm just not taking care of it. We don't need to see any of that information. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go on to the social media page. But I have YouTube up here, um, and then YouTube Studio is pretty interesting um, for people who are on YouTube. I have this app called YouTube Tracker. YouTube Tracker kind of like basically just kind of helps me have more analytics behind my YouTube channel. You know, whenever you see me post on my um, Instagram or Snapchat story, I do this thing where, you know, I can customize, um, you know, a certain video that I want to promote and I can, you know, change the background, so on and so forth, you know. See, just like that. And then I can do an overlay of some sort, you know, it's make up a little fake one real quick so yeah boom just like that save it and then he goes on to your story so that's how i do that and then you know you got instagram igtv facebook messenger snapchat TikTok, and then i go into having netflix and then i have a and e on here fandango regal prime video and then we go all the way down to amazon so yeah those are like you know if i wanted to watch tv on my phone blah 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 blah, blah go shopping we jump on down to social media editing so if i'm ever wanting to edit a picture or a video i use these apps right here yikes to facetune um so this is the interesting page so this is like if i never ever need to like do any renting of cars or houses um, get an Uber, Lyft, go on a flight, order some food, stuff like that. And then I got my games on my phone right here. Um, the two games I literally ever play in a blue, once in a blue moon I'll play these games, but I got Subway Surf on here. I got SimCity, so I'm a lame ass. Um, so Airbnb, everybody knows what Airbnb is hopefully. It's basically like you can rent a house. Um, it's basically like, like, you know, getting a hotel, but ooh, what is that? Okay, all right. Um, then Turo, Turo is this app that I used when I was in Los Angeles. Um, it's a pretty cool app, not sponsored. 
Um, for example, you can choose a destination, certain dates and times, and then you can easily rent a car. I haven't been scammed on it yet, so it's awesome. It's a pretty cool app would recommend um and then you got lyft and uber you got postmates you got uber eats starbucks mobile order type things um and then if i'm ever you know feeling crazy and wanting to go on a, a little adventure travel somewhere i usually use spirit because i'm a cheap bitch allegiant is the cheapest you can ever go um, but they don't go a lot of places um, but then you got frontier and then american airlines these are all like airlines that are closest to me so i don't have to drive so freaking far to get to an airport this app called Earnin though this is the other cool app. I don't know why it says my bank balance is zero dollars. I mean, I got money in there, but do I? Maybe. Um, but this app basically is kind of like a little loan service, but they loan you up to a hundred dollars, um, and you basically just have to pay that back whenever you get your new paycheck in, and then they just automatically take it out for you, either or. Um, and then I have the sleep app. Um, it's a pretty cool app that helps me fall asleep if I'm ever up late and I can't go to sleep because insomnia is a bitch. Um, it's pretty convenient. But then I have these two meditation apps um, that I use, um, Fabulous and Calm. They have these like meditation sessions that like I listen to here and there which are pretty convenient. Um, Mood Path is basically just where like I enter in moods of the day, how I'm feeling, and then it analyzes it all for me and stuff like that. I don't use it too often but it's kind of cool to keep up to see like how, you know, how I was feeling like a week ago to compare to like now and stuff like that. But then I have all of my etc. bull crap, the trash can of my phone, basically everything goes here that I don't use usually, but it has things on here that, you know, here and there we'll just need. Down at the bottom, I have the Safari app, Spotify, listening to good tunes all the time, Carpool Karaoke, you know, 24 seven. Uh, but then I have my phone app, my text messages. Who did I text last? Oh, it was Natasha. Oh, I was asking her about video ideas and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I said, <laughs> maybe I'll do that motherfucking video where I show what's on my phone, lol. Oh my god, lol. <laughs> I like to delete all my messages so that I can keep it cluster free. Let's see what Natasha's doing real quick. Well, that sucks. It's fine. Everything's fine. But yeah, that's pretty much what is on my phone. Nothing crazy. This is a green screen, by the way. Yeah, movie magic editing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, so uh, I'll see you next time. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, maybe even a comment, and if you want to, you can click that thumbnail on the left, and it'll take you to my most recent video. See you next time.